We are currently in a weak El Nino, but what does that mean for Central Texas? First, let's start with ENSO. ENSO is very important to know because it is the interaction between the atmosphere and ocean in the tropical Pacific. This can influence temperature, precipitation, and help determine the arrival of seasons all across the world. Here's how it works. We begin at the equator. El Nino is identified by above normal sea surface temperatures along the equator in the Pacific Ocean. This will impact Texas by bringing a wetter than normal weather pattern across the south thanks to an active Pacific jet stream. Storms like to ride along the jet stream and bring rain our way. Remember all that rain we picked up in 2015? Yeah, Waco received over 53 and a half inches of rain that year due to a strong El Nino, and it still stands as the third wettest year on record. Now, as for 2019, a weak El Nino weather pattern will likely stick around this summer and fall. Our rainfall will not be so severe like 2015 due to a weaker El Nino phase. However, we could still have below average temperatures and a wetter than average weather pattern over the next several months.